name of the Lord Most High. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord, our God, our Savior, and our King. Holy is the Lord God Almighty, our Father, who art in heaven. We bless your name, we praise your name, we honor your name. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. You are worthy of all praise, Almighty God. Father, by your authority and dominion that you gave unto us, ah, even on creation, renewed through your death, burial, and resurrection, release at Pentecost. We take authority by your Holy Spirit. We take authority by your Holy Word. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that we have the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. We have power over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. Hurting us means blocking that which you are pouring into us. Hurting us means principalities and powers cover our eyes that we cannot see, cover our minds that we do not, that we are not able to think and know who we are in you. And therefore, God Almighty, because you said nothing shall by any means hurt us, we tear off every scale from our eyes. We remove by fire every blockade around our brains. Oh, God Almighty around our soul we declare this morning that we are free from every interference every interruption every intermittent service every blockage to our internet every blockage to our phone system every blockage to getting on to it to to uh, facebook we thank you this morning oh great and awesome god almighty that this is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it we thank you this morning, O oh God Almighty, that your anointing is flowing and falling upon your people in a fresh way. We thank you, Lord God, that victory belongs to you and through you, victory belongs to us. For we are in you and you are in us. And therefore, we are victorious. Hallelujah. Without a force. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that this is your, your will for us. And this is our heritage. And so we walk in that victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare this day, O oh God Almighty, that you are our eternal Father. And you have blessed our land. You guard us with your mighty hand. You keep us free from evil powers. And you are our light through countless hours. O oh, Father, in our nations that are represented in the fourth watch, we ask, O oh, great defender, that you grant them true wisdom from above that you'll cause justice and truth to be theirs forever in this land the land that you love we thank you O oh great and awesome god for the fourth watch family we thank you for every member of this fourth watch family and the fourth watch hour we thank you O oh lord god almighty that every person that joins now that joins later that joins tonight we thank you father that they are blessed and highly favored that this is our worship unto you and as we join with you O oh god almighty as we come to say holy 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 is the lord god almighty as the angels say holy we thank you that angels Angels are dispatched right now to every Fort Watch family member. Angels are dispatched to our homes, dispatched to our workplace, dispatched to our banks, dispatched to our communities, dispatched to our nations. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And war has begun. War has begun. Lord, as you fought for Jerusalem, as you fought for Judah, as you fought for all of Israel, as you fought through men and by your angels. Lord, I thank you that you are fighting for your family this morning you are fighting for your kingdom to be established and to be expanded in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth I thank you Lord God Almighty that we who you have called to the kingdom for such a time as this are being strengthened now like the 30 men that David had around him ah uh, God who could not be defeated who were impenetrable invincible ah uh, God Almighty ah uh, they could not be defeated by any army that came against them so I thank you Lord that you have made us invincible impenetrable uh, in the undefeatable in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we are indestructible because our God is the Lord and so father we thank you this morning for the fourth watch hour we thank you oh great and awesome God that even now your angels are tearing down everything that the principalities and powers have set up every demon that is located on a cell tower located oh God Almighty on a Wi-Fi uh, router is being ripped off and sent packing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every demon that have been assigned to instruments, whether tablets, phones, or laptops, 
com desktop computers are being ripped off now by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that your word will go forth with efficiency and effectiveness uh, and that your anointing will fall upon your people afresh this morning that we will worship you in spirit and in truth uh, we will worship you O oh God Almighty in praise uh, hallelujah 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 to the King of Kings uh, and Lord of Lords great is thy faithfulness and greatly to be praised and so we thank you this morning, O oh God. We thank you this prophetic Wednesday that you are with us and that you are right in the midst of everything that we are. Father, your word says, where two or more are gathered as touching in the earth, whatsoever we ask in your name, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Abba Father Adonai will grant it unto us to his good pleasure. And so we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that as this Fourth Watch family meets this morning at this altar, around the table of righteousness, holiness, and truth, around the table of worship. Hallelujah. You are worthy, and you will do what you have said in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning, Holy Spirit of God, and welcome into our presence. Welcome into this fourth watch hour. Welcome into the fourth watch family. Hallelujah. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Take full control, all of you and none of us. You are the Lord and controller of our lives. You are the director, the author and finisher of everything that concerns us. And so, Holy Spirit of God, we give you our tongues. Take our tongues and teach us what to say. Take our, our hearts, teach us how to love. Take our soul and teach us how to worship and how to walk in obedience. Fourth Watch family, lay ourselves at your feet this morning and we say whatsoever you desire to do, do it, but just don't do it without us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, great is the faithfulness of our God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Good morning, family. Good morning, good morning, Fort Watch family. And welcome to another morning of devotions. On behalf of Marsha Wade, I'm Rowan Wade saying, yes, the presence of the Lord is with us. The glory of the Lord shall shine upon us and the manifestation of the Shekinah glory of God shall be through us. This day, this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Good morning to those in the, in the watch parties. Glory to God. It is well, it is well, it is well. Much is going on in the world. Much is going on in our lives. Much is going on in every sphere and every society. Every creed, every tongue. Hallelujah. But God is not panicking. God is not concerned and neither should we. We just need to keep doing what we do, keep praising, keep worshiping, keep believing, keep standing in faith and know that our God surely will deliver. So we continue to praise God for he is our good God and he will deliver. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Please remember to share if you are able to start a watch party. Hallelujah. Today is Prophetic Wednesday. Hallelujah. And on Prophetic Wednesday, we declare prophetically what we want to see come to pass over our lives, over our family, over our business, over our community, over our nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But the first thing that we do is we prophesy what God has said concerning us so that we can truly take dominion in all areas of our lives so let's get to isaiah 11 and verse 2 our 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 mantra our main prophetic declaration because if these six things come to pass in our lives six ah seven and eight ah hallelujah seven i know um isaiah 11 and verse 2 but we when we when the the six things of isaiah 11 and verse 2 Hallelujah. If these six things come to pass in our lives, then another will be added in the manifestation. And that is uh, the, fruit the, the fruit of the Spirit and also the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit. So the seven will bring us into rest. The fruit of the Spirit will always keep us in rest. Hallelujah. And the fruit of the, and the gifts of the Spirit will bring us into work. And so we rest before we work. Rest so that we can have energy to go to work. Rest so that we can know what to do. Rest so that we can be our best. And no devil can test when we flow in the gifts of the Spirit. Amen. So Isaiah 11 and verse 2. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. 
Cause your spirit to be upon us. Cause your spirit to be upon us. Today, Today, as the spirit of wisdom, as the spirit of wisdom and, understanding, and understanding, as the spirit of counsel, spirit of counsel and, might, and might, as the spirit of knowledge, and, spirit of knowledge and, of the fear of the Lord, and of the fear of the Lord, let these things, Lord, let these things, Lord manifest, in us, manifest in us and through us. And, through us, and, through us, and when they do, Lord, and when they do Lord let them be evidence as the fruit of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit. Spirit, to your glory, to your glory and, to your honor. and to your honor. Release on us now. Release on us now. Release on us now. By your Holy Spirit. By your Holy Spirit. In, Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Okay, so as I was going through the scriptures this morning, Hallelujah. I came upon a, 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 a scripture that a woman of God yesterday sent via WhatsApp and I was looking at that scripture and a prophetic flow started to, to, to just come into my heart for us this morning as a family. And so as that prophetic flow came from the scripture, I decided by the Holy Spirit that this was what I was going to declare over the family this morning. On this prophetic Wednesday the scripture is from 2nd Samuel 22 2nd Samuel 22 2nd Samuel 22 prophesying from the New King James Version glory to God hallelujah 2nd Samuel 22 prophesying from the New King James Version from verse 2 hallelujah and the Spirit of the Lord comes forth to bring clarity and revelation to the word of God. Say, and he said, the Lord is our rock and our fortress. He is our deliverer. The Lord God is our strength in whom we, Fort Watch family, will trust. He is our shield and horn of our salvation. He is our strong stronghold and our refuge. He is our savior and you save us, O Lord, from violence. We will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. So shall we be saved from our enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For by you, O Lord, shall the Fort Watch troop, the Fort Watch family, run against troops. And by you, O God, we shall keep, we shall leap over walls. As for God, he, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in him, like the Fort Watch family. For who is God except the Lord? Hallelujah. And who is a rock except our God? Hallelujah. God is our strength and power. And he makes our way perfect. Thank you, Lord, that our way is made perfect in you today. He makes our feet like the feet of a deer. And he sets us on high places. Thank you, Lord. He teaches our hands to war so that our arms can bend a bow of bronze. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that you have taught our hands to war today. And our hand and our and our arms to bend the bow of bronze. Yes, that means we are stronger than metal. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You have also given us the shield of your salvation. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Your gentleness has made us great. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. You enlarge our path under us mm -hmm. in the Fort Watch hour and to the Fort Watch family. So our feet will not slip. In the name of Jesus. Thank you that we stand strong in you, O Lord. And our feet will never slip. Hallelujah. You have subdued under us those who rose against us. Hallelujah. Lord, the enemy has come against us like a flood. But we thank you that according to your word, you have lifted up a standard. Hallelujah. Those who rose against us, you have defeated them. You have also given us the next of our enemy glory to god thank you jesus hallelujah 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 a people 
you have not known have served you. The foreigners submit to us in the name of Jesus. Every foreign demon, every demon is a foreigner. And every foreigner must submit to us, says the word of God. I prophesy this morning that every demon and devil, every demon of sickness and disease, every demon of marital destruction, every demon of marital blocking, every demon of financial blockage, every demon of business destruction is a foreigner to our system and they must submit to us in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that foreigners will submit to us and we declare today, we prophesy today, every foreigner must submit to us, must stand under us, must submit to our direction, our words, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They must come frightened from their hideouts in the name of Jesus. Every demon hiding in our homes, hiding in our closets, hiding in the foundation of our homes, hiding in the walls, hiding in the roof, wherever they are hiding, they are foreigners. They must submit to us and they must reveal themselves and be cast out in the mighty name of Jesus. I release the anointing to cast out devils this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, let your anointing fall upon on your fourth watch family let your anointing fall upon your people this morning let your anointing fall upon your people this morning lord as it fell upon david in the natural to defeat his enemies as it fell upon david in the natural that foreign forces submit to him lord let every foreign force let every demonic force submit to your people this morning submit to the fourth watch family this morning submit in the fourth watch hour we command every demonic force every principality and power to submit to the might and power of the Lord by the Holy Spirit in the Fort Watch family members whenever you hear this I decree and declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment is condemned as David defeated the enemies the armies that came against him so we will defeat every army that come against us we are elite soldiers we are numbered among the elite and therefore nothing shall by any means hurt us foreign demons shall submit and be subdued we shall bend bronze bows in the name of jesus our hands are strong we have fire in our mouths we have fire in our hands we have fire in our bellies we have access to fire that can never go out in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord lives blessed be our rock for he is the one on whom we stand and the enemy cannot reach us ah, the bible says that we are seated with him in heavenly places high above principalities and powers which means no matter how he tries he cannot reach us hallelujah let god be exalted for he is the rock of our salvation in the mighty name of jesus christ and so lord we thank you this morning that you are the rock of our salvation hallelujah we exalt you O oh god the fourth watch family exalt you we declare your majesty we declare that you are el elion the most high god you are elohim the great creator of the heavens and the earth we prophesy this morning that we shall walk with you in righteousness holiness and truth we shall worship you in spirit and in truth we shall declare the goodness of the lord in the land of the living hallelujah and demonic forces are subdued and subjected to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth as foreigners fade away at the very presence of David and his army as foreigners were subdued by David and his army so foreigners oh God Almighty will fade away at our very presence and those that are there oh God will be subdued by us in the name of Jesus anything that is not of God anything that is not washed with the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is a foreigner is, a, is subject to a foreign spirit hallelujah and is a foreigner and every foreigner is subdued by us is subject to us in the name of jesus christ we are the authority and we must know it and we must do it in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah 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 come on you got to declare this morning for what watch family members i am hallelujah more than a conqueror more than a conqueror. Every demon. Every demon. Every devil. Every devil. Every principality. Every principality. Every power. Every power. 
Lord. Every spiritual wickedness, Every spiritual wickedness in, high places, in high places are subject to me. Are subject to me. I, have I have the authority to tread upon them, to, tread upon them, to destroy their works. To destroy their works. I am victorious. I am victorious in every situation. In every situation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I prophesy this morning that oh, nations Lord. await you. Nations you. await you. Nations yes. await you. Yes. Nations yes. await you. Yes. Nations await you. Yes. If you will only believe, yes. nations await you. Your life may not look like much now. Your life may not yes. be much now. But I'm telling you, nations await you. When the power of the Holy One of Israel begins to manifest in and through you, nations will seek after you hallelujah hallelujah i was reading something yesterday family uh, about the the various revivals the 1930 revival 1980 revival the 19 uh, the, the, all the various revivals the azusa re, um, revival and you know what one thing that was very common in all of how these people approached god in order to see a revival they had a passion. They had a compassion that led to a passion. They had a compassion that led to a passion. It was either a compassion for souls, a compassion for their nation. One man says, Lord, give me England. Give me England. Give me the streets of England, lest I die. One man said, give me Scotland or, or, or kill me. Hallelujah. So we have to decide what are we willing to die for? What are we willing to die for? If you want a personal revival in your house, you have to say, Lord, give me my husband, give me my children, or take me home. You have to be willing to die in order to see revival. Unless a grain falls to the ground and die, it cannot live and produce fruit. We must be willing to die to see the revival that we desire. If our flesh is too alive, if our whole mindset is too alive, desire us to live, desire us to have the, 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 the nice things of life, then those nice things will keep moving away from us because in order to access what God has for us, we first must die. We first must die. And so we have to change how we think and how we speak. We must say, Lord, Give us victory over the works of the enemy in our generation or take us out. Seriously. Lord, we have not seen when you look around in this generation and this time and this season. If in order to be inspired in this millennial generation, in order to be inspired, most of us, as if I am a millennial, most of us have to look back years, hundreds of years to people like Catherine Kuhlman, to Smith Wigglesworth, to Derek Prince. That's where we have to be looking to find the authentic manifestation of the power of God. Well, I am telling you, Fort Watch family member, hear me carefully. People in the generations to come, as long as the Lord tarry, will not have to look over us to Derek Prince. They will not look over us to Catherine Kuhlman, they will not look over us to any other person that existed in those revivals, the, those revival and those centuries. They will look to us and they will say, Hallelujah. Sister Nicole, Sister Millicent, Sister Raquel, Sister Delis, Hallelujah. Did well. We can model what they have done. We can model what Marsha Wade did. We can model what Prophetess Maureen did. We can model, hallelujah, what Sister Yuri and Sister Monique did, what Sister Felice did. We can model what the Fort Watch family did. Sister Karen took over St. Thomas, brought revival to St. Thomas. She said, Lord, give me St. Thomas or kill me. Come on, we got to get radical. We got to have a passion built by compassion. Give me Jamaica. 
or we die. Give us Jamaica, Lord. Give us Jamaica, Lord. We need to demonstrate your glory in Jamaica. The Prime Minister has many, um, what you call, experts around that gives advice. Experts that give advice. And yet look at the state of our country. We have experts working in water, in light, in housing. From 1962, this is not about JLP and PMP. Various governments from all, all of our governments and leaders in all the countries have had these experts that are supposed to be counselors and giving directions. And our, 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 the state of our nations and the state of the world is still in disrepair. Is still not comfortable. We have to rise up. We have to say, Lord, give us our nation. Can you imagine, Sister Donna? Can you imagine, Sister Raquel? I'm talking to you individually now. Can you imagine if you were the one, Sister Beckford, if your phone could ring and the Prime Minister of Jamaica would say to you, Good morning, good day, good afternoon. This is Prime Minister Andrew Holness. Give me some advice. Hallelujah. Hey, yeah. I am asking you what the Jesus. Lord is saying. I'm about to go into Jesus. some serious decision making for mm. this nation. And I don't want to do it without the direction of the Lord. Mm. And I know that you have the word of the Lord in you. Mm. Come on, it is not impossible. Yes. It is not impossible. Mm. It may sound far-fetched because you have not seen anyone model it. You have not seen anyone done it. But I'm here to tell you, man. The Bible will tell you. Go Google it. Elisha was in his place. And he was hearing everything that the foreign king was planning. God allowed his ears to open. And miles away, a king was planning to invade Israel. And Elisha heard every word. Hallelujah. Heard every word. Glory to God. That's why they sent the army to come get him. He heard every word. Do not be afraid to ask God to open your ears to hear every word. Everything in the king's chamber. In the king's chamber. To hear every word that him, God, is saying about what to do in guiding the king in the decisions that he makes. We have to stop believing that some things are beyond us. Family, we have to stop believing that God doesn't do those things anymore. That the anointing that was upon Elijah and Elisha died with Elisha. God has not run out of anointing. He has not run out of the spirit of counsel or might. He has not run out of the spirit of wisdom or understanding. He has not run out of the spirit of knowledge or the fear of the Lord. He still has more than enough. All we have to do is have compassion for our nation, for our community, for our parish, for our state, wherever we live. It could be Perth, Australia. It could be London, England. It could be Texas, USA. It could be Tobago. It could be Clarendon or St. Andrew. Wherever it matters not. Whatever country, whatever province. Ask God to give you that place. Ask him, give me this state. Give me this community. Or move me. Or kill me. Take me somewhere else then. If you don't care about this community, take me out. Because I cannot live in this community in the state that it is in. And watch what God will do. Let's challenge God in this season, Fort Watch family members. Let us challenge God in this season and see what he will do. What do you think will happen if you challenge God to give you your family, to give you your community, to give you your nation, and he does nothing? Will there be any difference? Will your nation or your family or your community be any worse off? No. But if he gives you that nation, that family, that community... How much better off will they be when the guiding hand of the Lord through you is bringing direction, is bringing change, is bringing salvation 
is bringing the presence of God into that circle, into that surrounding, into that community, into that nation. Change for the better will come. Change for the better will come. But you'll never know that this is possible unless you challenge God. Let's challenge God, man. And when we challenge God, we have to be prepared for the sacrifice. Oh, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You hear what the woman of God said? You hear what the woman of God says? When we challenge God, that is why the revival came when the people set their heart to either do it or die. To either encounter it, to either be the vessel through which it is change comes or die. The sacrifice means that you have to be dead to that which you fear. To that which you think you could not do. You have to be dead to it. You have to be dead to critici crit criticism. You have to be dead to threats. You have to be dead to fear, to doubt. You have to be dead to even people who are supposed to be on your side turning against you. When you begin to advise the Prime Minister in the best interest of the nation, friends will go. Family members will go. But Jesus, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hear me, people of God. We have been beseeching God. Lord, I need health. Lord, I need my business. Lord, I need a breakthrough financially. Lord, I need my husband to come back or my wife to come back. Lord, I need my children to, to, to turn around and to begin to act right, to stop smoke weed. I need my son healed of schizophrenia. Lord, I need my long last husband of three years to return. We have been so consumed by the things that personally affect us. Lord, I need a new house. Lord, I need a car. We have been so consumed by our own personal desires, our own personal lives, that our community is falling apart around us. We have family members that are, are, are destined for hell, setting apart to hell, and we're not, we're not interceding for them. Our community is falling apart with crime and violence, lust, homosexuality, and all these things. And we're not, and we're not interceding for them. We're not saying, Lord, give me my community. Give me my family. Like Joshua said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We are not interceding for anything other than ourselves. And that's why we have not seen the results. Because if you seek first the kingdom, everything else will be added. And we have missed that. The enemy has gotten us so focused on self that we are not even involved in what the kingdom requires we have to change that family we have to change that my family we have to begin to seek the kingdom and trust that God will add everything else unto us we have to trust that just yesterday we had a a, 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 a session with a lady and as the Holy Spirit began to give revelation on some issues that she was having because of some things that she went through in her past she locked herself off from people. She couldn't trust people anymore. She didn't want to let anyone in. And so she kept everybody at arm's length. Because anytime she let persons in, whether as a friend or in a relationship, she would get hurt. So she wants to get married, but she has a big wall up blocking everyone from coming in. That's the devil tricking us. That's the devil making us, trying to make us real, uh, not realize that if we don't trust God to protect us, then we don't trust God at all. Come on. You cannot say you want to be married, but you don't want any friends. You cannot say you want to be a child of God, ministering to people, because you love people, but you don't trust people. That means you don't trust God. The Bible says we must love the Lord our God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love our neighbors as ourselves. So if we love our neighbors, we have to let them in and be willing to pay the price, be willing to sacrifice who we are, how we feel when we get hurt. People will hurt us. 
You think Jesus wasn't hurt knowing that Judas was walking beside him and behind him. And all that time, he was planning to do him harm, to sell him out. Jesus knew before it actually happened that that was the case. But he never allowed Judas to be too far. Judas was always within an arm's length. Because Jesus had already died in his heart even before the cross came. We have to, be, we have to die Hear me, people of God. I know this sounds solemn. I know this sounds like, boy, I, I'm not liking this message this morning because I, 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 I don't feel good about accepting pain. I don't feel good about accepting hurt. I'm saying to you that the best will never come out of you until people can call you names, until people can revile you, say all manner of evil things against you and about you for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it does not matter to you. It does not bother you. They can accuse you of all kinds of wrongs. Yesterday, someone called me and said, Boy, I, I, I'm being accused of having a relationship with a man in my office. And I don't, it, 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 nothing don't go so. People are threatened to kill her, are threatened to obey her, all kinds of things. And nothing like that. And how I know this is true because she said, Pastor, I'm telling you the honest truth. I have been there. I have done it before. I can confess to you. I have done it. I have been with a married man and I didn't like how it feel and God convicted me on it. And so I've decided that I'm not doing it again. And now she's going through the full battle, the full trauma, the full pressure, being accused of doing it and she's not. You have any idea how that feels? When you know in your heart that you're not guilty of this thing and everybody that comes in is believing that you are, that's how Jesus felt. Hallelujah. People were coming from all about it's in the scriptures, testifying against him, making up stories against him, trying to find a reason to kill him. Glory to God. Trying to find a reason to kill him. If people around you are not trying to find a reason to kill you, it be is because you are more with them than with God. Oh, hallelujah. I'm not, literal, not, I'm not talking about kill with a gun or with a knife. I'm not talking about killing your flesh. If people are not trying to kill your spirit, kill your soul with their mouth, with accusations, with, with condemnation, telling you that you're too self-righteous, you, 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 you think you're better than everybody else because everything you revert to scripture, in all your ways you're acknowledging God and you're rising up. Everything you say, let's pray. You don't want to gossip, you say, let's pray. Everything you're speaking good about someone when someone comes to you telling you how them stay bad and how them think. And so I can't chat to you because you only want to talk good things every time they oh, I she thinks she's too special you go on like you perfect like you don't make mistake too like you are not a human too they will say these things and it will hurt because you want to fit in it feels nice when people like you oh I feel the presence of God it feels good when people like you it feels good when they call and says you are such a nice person you are wonderful but hey the Bible hallelujah the Bible in John 15 and John 16, St. John, read those two chapters, St. John 15 and 16, where Jesus was explaining interaction with people. He says, if the world loves you, then you are none of his. But if the world hates you, hallelujah, rejoice, for it first hated him. You must rejoice when people do not embrace you because you embrace God. Rejoice when people do not embrace you because you embrace God. If you are crass and crude and unloving and caring and feeling unkind and people dislike you for that, get your act together. Go lay at the cross. Get some blood wash. Get some anointing. Get some heart of God, some compassion and some love. But when you are loving people, I have a pastor friend. Oh man, sometimes my wife and I sit and listen to him. And when he talks about how he pours out his heart to help people in his congregation and how they turn and hurt him, some things he literally does for persons, taking somebody in his house while they, were, they had a surgery and they, they, they lived with him for nearly two months. He helped nurse them back to health on very little, on very little, nurse them back to health. And immediately as the person became healthy again, 
same day. Same day that the person felt good enough and strong enough. The demon rise up and, they, and she cuss him. Cuss him and his wife. Dog rotten. Mm -hmm. If you understand the terminology. And left. How do you think that feels? He was heartbroken. He was broken and this is the experienced man of God who has been through hurt and hurt and hurt. But he was devastated. When you are devastated for doing the right thing, you are just like Jesus. And so if you're not willing to pay that price, if you're not willing, you can't just say from your lips that you want to be like Jesus. You can't. Hallelujah. Yesterday I got a, I, I got a taste of hurt. I can tell you. On Mondays, I do a prayer ministry. After devotion, I pray and pray and pray for some people. And I got a call from, from, from someone who is dear to me overseas, who I, 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 I sow quite a bit of time into when I can. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, man, um, desperation is selfish. When people are desperate, they're selfish. And they will not remember anything that you have done for them in the past. Don't take it personal. Don't take it personal continue to press in we have done it to jesus on many many occasions when we get desperate we say jesus you don't love me anymore i want to backslide i don't feel like you care even though you say you'll never leave me or forsake me i don't feel like you're with me now that's because now you're desperate desperation has no memory of what was done in the past desperation wants results now and so the person called me and said, and, and, and I missed the call because I was in the middle of praying. The prayer thing went over because the phone has been giving some problems into Tuesday. I saw a message Tuesday that says, I call you, you're not taking my call. Almost like the, the, the gist of it, you don't care and you don't return my call. I sent a message to say, I'll call you back when I can. The when I can didn't come yet. But desperation, it's not that is a bad heart. It's not coming necessarily from an evil place. But I'm just saying to you, guys, I'm preparing you because as you ask God to reveal himself to you, as you ask God to, to, to teach you how to seek first his kingdom, as you ask God to help you to be a blessing to the, to, to the people around you, to your family, they are going to come at you. You pray for your, 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 your sick nephew and his mother is celebrating because he got healed she she's gets she got saved thousands of dollars of going to doctor and she's the same one that turned around and say yeah obia woman your same sister who is god you called to she cried tears when her child got healed and that's the same one that says oh yeah walk obia i tell the next door neighbor say yeah obia woman you know how that feels how disappointing how distressing that is but if you're not feeling those kinds of pain, if you're not going through those kinds of things, you're not functioning in the effectiveness of God's power and might and love. I'm telling you. And so we have to stop being comfortable in the place of our own peace. We have to find peace in Jesus. And the peace of God only shows up in the midst of trials. The peace of God only shows up in the midst of danger. The peace of God only shows up in the midst of accusations and attacks. When everyone else would be losing their cool, that's when you seem like a fool, sitting on a stool, looking all cool. Because the peace of God in the midst of a storm is what tells you that you are really on the side of God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I just want to ask this morning if there's anyone that is on this morning, anyone, if you can stand in proxy for your family members, your friends, your co workers, your neighbors that are not saved. I feel a need to pray for salvation this morning. And I want you all to agree with me. We want to prophetically declare salvation, not just over our family members or our community but over our nation we want to pray for salvation for our members of parliament come on not just in the in the in, in jamaica or in the caribbean but in the world 
wherever you are in the world this morning, whatever nation you are sitting in, we want to pray for salvation for your leaders, salvation for your family members, salvation. We want to pray for salvation, man. So I want us as a photo of family member, members to, 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 to aggressively pursue God and say, Lord, give us souls or take us home. If we are not winning souls, what purpose do we serve in the earth? Why are we eating food? Why are we praying? Why are we breathing the oxygen that God has given us? If we are not living for what he says we should live for. If we are not able to carry out his mission of going into all the world and making believers of all nations. If we are not doing that, why are we alive? Lord, give us nations or kill us. Give us nations or take us to heaven. Give us nations. And if there is something that is in us that is blocking us from doing and being who you have called us to do, then reveal it to us, God. Reveal it to us. Show prophetess Marsha what is in me that is blocking me from walking in the power and might and dominion that you gave to Paul and Peter, James and John, Stephen and Philip. Rip it out of me that I may be an empty vessel. Come on, that's how we got to talk to God. That I may be an empty vessel in which you can pour your oil and that I may go around and be a light and a lamp for others to see and walk the path to salvation. So we want to pray for salvation this morning. I want you to just agree with me. Those of you who can pray in the spirit, just begin to pray in the spirit. Those of you who can't pray in the spirit, begin to speak prophetically, like by, by saying, Lord, I thank you this morning. I prophesy that my governments are saved, my government ministers are saved, hallelujah, that my leaders are saved, that my community leaders are saved, that my family members are saved, my aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, nephews, mother, father, sister, brother, or husband, aunts, cousin, everyone, it just, just prophesy salvation, salvation. We are calling forth salvation prophetically this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Prophetic Wednesday and the spirit of prophecy is upon each of us. What we declare in the realm of the spirit shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I call forth by prophetic decree. I call forth by authority. I take dominion over every principality that has caused evil to prevail in our society, in this nation of Jamaica, in the Caribbean, and in the world. I prophesy this day, God Almighty, that your angels have been dispatched, for there is more with us than against us. Lord God Almighty, if you have assigned two legions of angels to each of us then therefore there are hundreds of thousands of angels ready to go to work at the command of our voice this morning and so lord it is your main will that persons be, be saved and so we release the angels of salvation this morning over government ministers over yes. pastors oh god almighty because there are many on the pulpit that are not saved they are preaching from a place of teaching but they are not saved and preaching from the place of spirit of god and so lord we speak salvation to those who are in the, in, in in the pulpits as as yes. tear instead of wheat i as as angel of light and not light angels lord we speak speak salvation to them salvation to the church goers who are not christians we speak salvation to the communities we speak salvation to family members mothers and fathers sisters and brothers aunts uncles cousins nieces and nephews let the spirit of salvation prevail in the mighty name of jesus lord in jamaica from negril point to moran point we declare that the blood of yeshua the Amashiach is running right now running through every part of of the country to every crevice to every corner our oh god going down the gullies and getting to other places lord like when it rains across the island and water covers the entire land let your blood cover the land and saturate the island saturate every nation saturate every country saturate lord god almighty as the rain wets us despite the umbrella as water is on our feet despite our shoes lord let your blood penetrate Penetrate our feet, penetrate our bodies, penetrate our head. Soak us with your blood in this nation. Soak us with your blood in the nations of the world. Soak the, the governmental ministers with your blood, Lord. Let your blood be upon them, for it is not impossible. 
Lord, let this nation be, oh God Almighty, hallelujah, like Nineveh, where the very government says, we will go into sackcloth and ashes, fasting for the righteousness of God to be manifested in our nation. Lord, let the anointing that was upon Nineveh when Jonah brought the word be upon this nation and the nations represented by the Fort Watch family. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that the spirit of salvation has been released now as we agree in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We believe that the Lord has done it. We believe that the Lord has done it. And it is well in his sight. Hallelujah. And when God has spoken, all we have to do is say, Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is finished. It is finished. It is done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 And so we just want to, uh, if there is anyone on this morning, who, if you're a backslider and you're just enjoying the devotion, if you were not saved, uh, if, you are, if you're a Christian that has just been, uh, yes, you got baptized years ago, man, when you were a baby, but you have not been truly living the life, you have not been focused, you have not been persistent and consistent in, in, in seeking first the kingdom, we just want to take you through a, a, a prayer of repentance, a prayer of, of restoration, a prayer of coming back, renewing the vows, so to speak, or having the new vows. And so I just ask anyone this morning who is hearing me, or this afternoon, or this evening, or even in days and weeks to come, God will see your heart, He will hear your voice, and He will accept what you are saying. And so I just ask you to just repeat after me, Lord Jesus, I accept you today. As my Lord and Savior, I believe that you are the Son of God, that you came to the earth, you suffered and died for my sins. You rose from the grave and you took everything that was designed to kill me, to des destroy me, and to damn me to eternal sin. And you took it away and gave me a chance at eternal life. On this day, Lord, I accept your offer of marriage, of eternal life. I confess that I am a sinner, but I desire to be saved by grace. I receive your offer, and I desire to marry you. I accept you as my husband man, and I will serve you all of my days. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me. Thank you for restoring me. Thank you for bringing me back into the fold. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So we rejoice. Amen. Angels hallelujah, rejoice. hallelujah, hallelujah, Angels hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to also encourage some of my brothers and sisters in Christ who have, you know, made some mistakes. You have gone out there and, and life has been difficult. It's been years. Some of you have been asking, Lord, I need a husband. I, 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 the Bible says it's better to marry than to burn. The, uh, some of you are in business and when things get uh, tight, um, you begin to employ some business practices that does not reflect faith. Come on, glory to God. And, 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 and you feel guilty and you feel like the enemy is saying, how can you say you're a Christian when you have done this, when you have said that, when you have made this, these mistakes and he's pulling you further and further away from the flame that is supposed to be burning in you and you feel like you're becoming lukewarm, like you're becoming cold and you try to hold on but it's hard to read the Bible, it's hard to pray because you, you, you feel like you're not worthy, like you're hard on yourself. I want to encourage you this morning, man, by the Spirit of a living God, I want to prophesy to you this morning, David did some serious things in his time, and God still called him a man after his own heart. David killed Uriah, got Bathsheba pregnant. David had many, many concubines. David numbered the children of Israel when he should not have. And David carried the, 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 the Ark of the Covenant on an oxen. Ah, glory to God. When it should have been on the soldier, the shoulders of the pre, the, 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 Le the Levites, David did so many things, man. Who are you to compare? Who are you to compare? Who are we to compare? David said, "If I make my bed in hell, you are there with me, regardless of 
what you do. Don't let the enemy convict you. There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Look, walking after the flesh is not how you sin. It's walking after the flesh is not repenting. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Come on, somebody. Be encouraged this morning. You feel like you're, you're hearing voices in your head saying, you, how could you have done that? How could you have messed up like that? Don't you see you're not saved? Don't you see you're not a Christian? Sometimes you're going through some difficulties. It's not necessarily that you have sinned, but, but, but finances are low. Uh, there is a slight drought in your financial reservoir. Some there is a full-on drought, man. The earth crack, your bank account zero and been zero for a long time in minus because the, the, the fees that you're supposed to pay cannot be paid because there is no positive balance and so you're in minus and you're getting depressed and you feel like I'm so depressed I can't pray I'm so depressed I can't read the word God is saying to you today never lose hope never give up there is nothing you can do that caused God to turn away from you nothing you can say that God caused God to reject you and to cast you away once you have accepted him as Lord and Savior. And remember, hallelujah, I remember my days of not paying God any mind at all. But he was still walking around behind me. He was still there walking behind me. Because when you are not saved, God walks behind you. Whispering in your ears saying, will you come to me? Will you come to me? But when you are saved by the Holy Ghost, he walks in front of you. Oh, glory to God. Somebody be encouraged. Be encouraged. And so when you think, when you're looking for him beside you and you can't find him, that's because that's not where the Bible says he is, man. He's in front of you making a way where there seemed to be no way. When there is drought in your financial reservoir, the Holy Ghost is in front of you digging a well. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody be encouraged this morning. When, the, when, when you feel like you can't find a husband and you have to go look for one in the unsafe community, know that the Holy Ghost is before you fashioning and forming that husband fashioning and forming that wife but if you are anxious if you are trying to do your own thing that means you're stepping out of his footsteps out of his pathway that he has made and you're going in another direction and that's why you can't see the accomplishment in the way that God wants you to see it because you're maybe looking in another direction or walking in another direction from the leading of the spirit and so here it is carefully as the Lord gives me revelation when you are in sin the Holy Spirit is behind you whispering and calling and, 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 and encouraging and cajoling and trying to get you to come but when you come into the kingdom regardless of any mistakes you have made man the Holy Spirit is in front of you charting a path charting a way going to the place of repentance going to the place of redemption going to the place of restoration he will never leave you or forsake you you just got to believe that he is always there for you so be encouraged people of God. Stay in the word. If you can't read it because of how you feel, listen to it audibly. Come on, glory to God. Play some worship songs and just get your spirit all encouraged because God, hallelujah, the world is waiting for you. The enemy wants you to be locked up in your house. Just like they say, if COVID-19 if someone gets COVID-19, what it wants them to do is lay in bed, don't do anything so it can take them over and suck the life out of them. But if you get up and exercise, expand your lungs, do some physical things, hallelujah, do some work, man, you will overcome. Glory to God. And so that's the same thing with the kingdom. If you get up and do some stuff, man, find a way to, to, to manifest God in your life, you will see the victory. It is well. God is with you. God is with you. I prophesy that God has not left you, man. Just be encouraged, for it is well. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Don't let the enemy tell you about all the things that you have done wrong. Tell the enemy that your God is a God who rights wrongs. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to our King. Hallelujah to our King. Okay, it's time for communion. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this morning. We thank you 
for your encouragement. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you continue to keep us in perfect peace with our minds stayed on you. Thank you that your word, O oh God, says that you'll never leave us or forsake us and that you will watch over us as a mother hen watches over her chick. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you keep us in perfect peace. Lord, as we eat of your body and drink of your blood this morning, we ask you to search every part of our body, soul, and spirit, mind, will, and emotion. See if there be any evil way in us, any thought, any word, or any action that contravenes your laws. We repent and renounce them now and ask your forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sanctify and consecrate these emblems, O God. Let them be unto our body strength, flesh, blood, power, love, sound mind, resilience, invincibility, indestructibility, hands that bend bows of brass, fingers that war and fight, and impenetrable armor. So let it be your body and blood unto us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so the Lord Jesus took the bread, he broke it, he blessed it, he gave it to the disciples and he said, eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you do it, man, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of his body in faith and know that you are renewed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And so likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it. He supped. And he said, drink, this is my blood. The blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. My death, burial, and resurrection until I come. Drink ye all of it by faith. For the resurrected Lord is our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah to the King. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for spending time with us this morning. Man, from Monday I've been trying to go in a particular direction. But the Holy Spirit has just been... He knows exactly what we need, all of us. And sometimes God will do something just for one person. Because the Word of God that cannot lie says the shepherd will leave the 99 and go after one. And so there's some of you that might be saying... I don't need that encouragement. I want to hear the word. I want the, the, the scripture that you've been promising. Romans 12. Hallelujah. And that's fine. That will come guys. But we have to love others when we can recognize. And when the Holy Spirit is going in a direction. It might not be you. But you just have to come in line with what God is doing. And encourage others. So I pray that quite a number of you were encouraged this morning. To stop feeling condemned. Stop condemning yourself. Stop being hard on yourself. I know because I was once there. I used to be so hard on myself. If I didn't read the Bible one day, I felt like, oh my goodness, I am so wicked, so worthless, so out of touch. I'm not going to be able to do anything good today because I didn't do what God wanted me to do. But that's not, that's slavery. That's not relationship. And so God is calling us. Sometimes we're going to be at a place where we feel distant from him, but he's never distant from us. And we just got to remember that. You need a body that comes together like this Fort Watch family. If you're having any issue, some of you know each other. As we're sowing into each other, one will be strong when another is weak. You just reach out when you feel weak. There's always somebody you can reach out to. And if there isn't any cross-referencing that you can reach out to and you don't trust the persons in your spiritual circle, there is always messenger that can reach us. Come on, reach out. Masha or myself will be ready and able and, and listen, don't take it personal if you don't get a connect same time. It's not because we don't love you. Sometimes you pray and God doesn't answer same time and he's greater than us. And so, but we will get to you and sorry, we will encourage you and just be there for you, man. We're a family and that's how it is. Amen. Glory to God. May the Lord bless you and keep you. 
May the Lord make his face to shine upon me and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. That you will wear the name of the Lord Jesus Christ upon you. His blood washing you. His power of his Holy Spirit emanating through you. That you will be a blessing wherever you go. In Jesus name. Go forth and have a great day. God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day. His way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, Jesus love you. And we love the whole of too. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about Deliverance Thursday tomorrow, man. God is faithful. God is good. God's oh, willing. Yes. Tomorrow or Friday. Friday. Yes, Leighton, our, our brother Leighton is going to be encouraging. We're starting off, we're kicking off our time of encouragement and, 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 um, and demonstration of our own growth, personal. Hallelujah. We want this thing to be about all of us because remember, it's our devotion. Not just Marsha and I devotion, it's our devotion. And so, as many who would like to, we want to get you involved and, and, and just, you know, be a blessing to each other so that we can be encouraged and so that some anointing and some gifts and talents will unearth and be blessed and go forth in the name of Jesus. So Leighton Hilton is going to be our motivator for about 10 minutes or so. Um, we also are going to have uh, Pastor Alric Winter again just tying up, putting a bow on the whole issue of angels and how they connect to our purpose. That was good last week, Friday. And so we want to just wrap that up uh, as we tie up the eight pillars of purpose. Glory to God. So we can move on into next week with some, with some new things. Next week, yeah, next week, Friday, we're going to have Pastor Howard Tyson. Man, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to that. Glory to God. A mighty man of God. Hallelujah. He's going to be talking to us about how you identify purpose. Yes, your personal, your, your individual purpose. How you identify it. Once you have identified it, what are some of the steps you take to begin to grab it and walk in it. Glory to God. And so we've just taught on purpose. What are the pillars, the elements, what you need to do in order to truly be in purpose. And then he's going to now put the fullness of that in your own personal way and then get it going amen glory to god so i'm looking forward to friday fridays are gonna be exciting hallelujah going forward as we celebrate we're celebrating the goodness of the lord in the land of the living have an amazing day man and remember jesus loves you jesus loves you man jesus loves you regardless of what you do he loved the prodigal son all the way to where he was going and all the way back and so he loves you wherever you go and he loves you until you come back. No matter what, he will always love you. Amen? Don't let the devil deceive you. It is well. Have a great one. God bless.